Good morning, everybody. Hey, welcome to Cup of Joe. Today, we are in Proverbs 29. If you have your Bibles or your phone, pull them out. Hopefully, you're doing well. Hopefully, you're ready for some wisdom and some inspiration from Scripture. Um, there's nothing better than starting our day in God's Word, because we know, as I say often, it's a lamp into our feet. It's a light into our path. Uh, we'll be far more discerning all day. We will have the wisdom of the Lord. We will be in a two-way conversation with the Lord throughout the day. It will be so many things. Um, when we read God's Word, it accomplishes a purpose that God sets it out to do. So many times we might read it and not even know how we're being healed mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. So good job being up, being in the Word, getting your nutrition spiritually and mentally and emotionally. Amen? All right, let's dive in. Verse 1 of chapter 29, Proverbs says, Whoever stubbornly refuses to accept criticism will suddenly be broken beyond repair. So, be open to coaching, to correction. and Hopefully, whomever that would be trying to give you some coaching or correction would do it in a good manner something like hey are you open to some feedback that's usually a good way to say it and hopefully they are and then you uh, for me I try to share personally uh, when I'm trying to give someone else feedback I'll share hey personally for me I learned this and just wanted to pass it as an op um, an option or opportunity uh, to not make the same mistake I made you know what I mean Verse 2, when the godly are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked are in power, they groan. The man who loves wisdom brings joy to his father, but if he hangs around with prostitutes, his wealth is wasted. A just king gives stability to his nation, but one who demands bribes destroys it. To flatter people is to lay a trap for their feet. Evil people are trapped by sin, but the righteous escape shouting for joy. The godly know the rights of the poor. The wicked don't care to know. Mockers can get a whole town agitated, but those who are wise will calm anger. If a wise person takes a fool to court, there will be ranting and ridicule, but no satisfaction. The bloodthirsty hate the honest but the upright seek out the honest. A fool gives full vent to anger, but a wise person quietly holds it back, meaning we don't always say what we're thinking, right? Hmm. A king who is fair to the poor will have a long reign. To discipline and reprimand a child produces wisdom, but a mother is disgraced by an undisciplined child. When the wicked are in authority, sin increases, but the godly will live to see the tyrant's downfall. Discipline your children, and they will give you happiness and peace of mind. When people do not accept divine guidance, they run wild, but whoever obeys the law is happy. For a servant, mere words are not enough. Discipline is needed, for the words may be understood, but they are not heeded. There is more hope for a fool than for someone who speaks without thinking. A servant who is pampered from childhood will later become a rebel. A hot-tempered person starts fights and gets into all kinds of sin. Pride ends in humiliation, while humility brings honor. If you assist a thief, you are only, you are only hurting yourself. You will be punished if you report the crime, but you will be cursed if you don't. Fearing people is a dangerous trap, but to trust the Lord means safety. Many seek the ruler's favor, but justice comes from the Lord. The godly despise the wicked. The wicked despise the godly. Bunch of stuff, right? Wisdom, humility, um, r discipline and raising our children, um, not uh, giving in to fools, um, and 
Don't be prideful. Amen? Usually when I read my proverb, I'll try to go through it and find those main topics specifically within the proverb and then uh, apply them to my own life. So not sure how that applies specifically to you today, but that's through the word of the Lord, Psalm 20, uh, excuse me, Proverbs 29. And hope you have a wonderful day. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word today. We ask you, Lord, that as we hide it in our heart, as your word says in Psalm 119, that it will help us to not sin against you. We ask you to fill us with your Holy Spirit powerfully, Lord. Give us discernment today. Give us wisdom, Lord. Guide us, Lord. Warn us, Lord, of various things. Um, fill us with your fruit, Lord, the fruit of the Spirit. May we be loving today, kind today. May we have self-control. May we have faith, Lord. May we be patient. Um, Lord, may we love uh, those around us today. We place all of these things, Lord, at your feet. We love you so much. Thank you for this special time together in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hey, sure love you guys. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow.